My name is Bill Powers. I'm the head football coach of Jupiter Christian High School in Palm Beach County, Florida. Uh, we play in one of the hotbeds for high school football in America. Uh, I've been a head coach here for four years. In that time, we've compiled a 47-5 and record, won back-to-back -back state championships, and currently have the longest winning streak in the state of Florida of 27 games. Uh, hopefully, you, you, you've seen our video on our stack and swarm defense. As a follow-up to that, today we're going to talk about uh, what we do in short yardage and goal line situations. Um, we've tried a number of different defenses. Uh, with Because we're a small school and our players need to know more than one position, this is a defense. We, we, we stay with the basic principles of the 3-3 or 3-5 stack defense, um, and, it, and it works in a short yardage situation. So um, hopefully you'll get a lot out of it because it certainly helped us uh, win a lot of games over the last four years. In our normal 3-3 defense, uh, it's a stack defense where our, our ends are stacked on the tackles and uh, be, our, I'm sorry, bullet linebackers are stacked behind our ends on our tackles and the missile linebacker is stacked behind, behind the nose guard. Um, in our goal line, it's going to be a little bit different and we're going to go through, through each of the positions. So typically, our, we, we have a nose guard who sits in the middle of, of the football field. He lines head up on the center. Um, we want them as tight to the center as possible. Uh, our, our defensive ends, we're going to have where typically they line up head up on the tackles. When they get down by the goal line, we line them up in the gap between the, the, uh, the guard and tackle. Um, and our bullet linebackers, which are typically stacked behind our eagle linebackers, down by the goal line, they're going to be on the outside hip of the, of, the, of the defensive end and pretty much head up on the tackles. Our cornerbacks are going to have the, the, the tight ends man or the number one receiver man coverage. Our eagle linebackers, which are our outside linebackers in this particular defense, they're going to be a, to the outside and they've got run responsibility. And our, our safety is going to cover the power back. We're going to, we'll go through each position, um, what their responsibilities are, and, uh, and, have, and, and, and what we need them to do. Again, we'll start with our nose guard. He's going to line up. Um, directly over the center. Uh, his job is to push the center back and look for quarterback sneak. Uh, obviously in a short yarded situation um, where they're, they're maybe looking for anywhere from a couple inches to a couple yards, um, he's one of the primary guys we have to worry about stopping. So in that particular defense, that's his first priority is to, is to, is to look for the quarterback sneak. Normally when we're in, a, in, a, uh, in our typical 3-3 defense, we give that nose guard latitude to go, e go in either the A gaps or through the, through, the, uh, through the center. In our goal line defense, his job is to push the center back and back into the quarterback. Our ends are in a four-point stance. In our normal defense, they're in a three-point stance, head up on the tackles. In this defense, they're going to be in a four-point stance in the gap between the guard and tackle, in the B gap. Their job is to occupy those two offensive linemen. Uh, we tell our defensive linemen in a four-point stance to get into the gap and grab at legs. We want to we want to slow these guys up. We do not want these guys getting to our linebackers. It's gonna it'll cause some uh, uh, a mess in the front of the line and, and, and it eliminates gaps for the running backs to get through. Um, our missile linebacker or our middle linebacker uh, in our typical defense he lines up at five yards. 